Hey guys, it's Derek here. So, Timo recently reached out to me wondering if I wanted to collab on a video. And I thought it was probably a perfect opportunity to kind of showcase what they have to offer and what items that are probably worth investing in and which other ones you should, you know, maybe not. So, I got a... I got a, I got a few things. And we're, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. I guess we should start off with the big package here. Try not to show you guys where I live. All right. <laughs> now, I was actually kind of curious why they didn't ship this in a in the typical orange baggie stapled with like Timu all over, but I, I guess I guess uh, we, we just get a normal inconspicuous white one. I am a little bit worried though because oh, uh, everything inside here is. Well, it's supposed to be nicely packaged up. There's no box protecting anything, and we just got this. But that probably kind of goes into why things are free shipping and 90-day free returns. Not to mention, pretty much everything on the website is incredibly affordable. At least some of the things I picked up here, so we can kind of kind of see how far your 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 dollars can go, or your monies can go. Oh, that's nice. All right, so we got a little Timu baggie on the outside. I think they stepped up their packaging a little bit. Oh, that's completely mangled, but um, I'm just gonna put that off to the side for now. I mean, the rest of it looks like it's in half decent condition. I think we're gonna go with this package here. Now, one of the things I wanted to check out was actually some of their like clothing options, because, you know, it's hard to find. If you can tell what this is, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, we got a we got a straw hat. This is supposed to be their small size. It is a little banged up. I think this was like under five bucks, six bucks. So not bad pricing wise. A little stretchy bit there. We're gonna pop it on my head, I guess. Hopefully this doesn't look too bad. Don't look at my hair. Don't look at my hair. How how is it? How is it? Huh? There's a little strap thing. I'm just gonna keep it on like this for the rest of the video. Not bad if you're in a pinch for a little cosplay cosplay action. I'd probably go with the bigger one. I got a decent sized noggin, but I, I guess the small does kind of fit most people. There we go. We're, we're, we're just gonna go with this. Yeah, don't mind the, the crazy hair. Let's move on to the next package over here. Just gotta start pulling out some items. Next up, I believe these are acrylic risers. So we're just gonna, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how these all work out. I believe this is in like a two or a four pack. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are nice and small, so they will fit your displays. And it is nice and milky for the mo, for the fla. There's definitely a layer of film on here and it is taking me a lot longer than I would like to get off. Unfortunately, none of these that I've ordered have like an easy pull tab or anything. But oh, I think I may have gotten one to work. Oh, there we go. Oh. Feel that? Hear that? Okay. I'm not gonna try to get the other one off for the time being, but it does look pretty decent. Like, you can easily put, put a figure on top of here and kind of raise it up. I think this does the job. Pricing wise, also pretty good. So, not bad for the, like, the second thing out of the box. I actually saw that. Oh, this was this is a lot smaller than I thought. So I did buy some electronic related items too. Looks like we got the astronaut nebula projector. Now, if you guys know me, um, I'm I'm a huge K-pop fan, and unfortunately, I don't think anyone was actually really able to get the Jungkook galaxy display thingy. But these have been popping off, and I decided to check one out. These do look like they're USB, so let's see. And we also got a little. I think this is double-sided 3M tape. So. Interesting. We we don't get USB type C. We got this uh, nasty cable. I'm hoping that this doesn't have to be permanently plugged in or anything. Oh, the head's gone. We get a nice little braided cord for for the uh, for the what you call it. Uh, where does this go? Is it magnetized? Aha! It is magnetized, so you can move it around a little bit. However, I think the magnet on mine is a little strong, so it is kind of leading off to the other side. Nice little details, though. Antenna moves around. It says, warning, laser, don't look into the laser. It does come with a nice little remote as well, so... Does this come with batteries, though? No. So I guess you do need to put in some... Double? Double A? Triple A? What do you want? They look like triple A. I, I don't know. Don't have any triple A batteries on me, currently. Did not expect to have to use those. Let me just plug plug this bad boy in and see how this works. On. 
Oh, it does make a sound though. So I don't know about the, okay. So we got a few different modes. Nebula, that's kind of nice. Okay, okay. It does switch up a little bit. So the stars kind of disappear. This is really cool. Oh my. Uh, so if, I guess if you're gaming late at night or whatnot, or if you just want to have to spice things up, this is this is nice and cute. I, I think I have a nice little spot for it. My only really complaint or gripe with this is it doesn't actually, it's, it's not quiet. I don't know, can you guys hear it? You hear it? You hear it. And also it doesn't stay on if you unplug it. Yeah, I, I, I guess I can't just put this on like a on like a bookshelf or anything. This has to be permanently plugged in. If you just want something cool on your desk, I, this is pretty hard to beat, I think. Moving on to the next little electronic thing that I got from them. And that is uh, this, this right here. It looks like for whatever reason, Custom has already gone and cut through it already for me. So I guess thank you, Custom. And these here are supposed to be... Oh, some massive LED light bars. Ooh. These here are pretty big, just under two feet long each. And I got these for, I think, what, like $16? So not bad pricing wise. Hopefully they do work and I don't have to really charge them up, but the goal is to put them up on a shelf, kind of let it do its own thing and light up the room a little bit, kind of as like a backdrop. This is primarily supposed to be for like in a closet, underneath some cabinets. It does have a motion sensing feature, which I don't know how well it works. Let's see how well this hold held up because it, it wasn't packaged along with anything. It was just kind of by itself. Come on. Oh, it is nice and USB-C, so that is a one plus. And let's see here. It does look like we get some magnetized little sticky strips. You can kind of plop it on if you really want. For me, I'm not really going to be doing that. I'm just going to be putting them like this and hopefully that works. But yeah, let's, let's get that peel in. And the on button. Oh, how's that look? Huh? Well, a little, little light bar action. I believe we can also change the temperature. So now it's a little more orange, way more orange, white again. So three different modes and an on and off. Oh, oh, it's flashing. Not bad, not bad. USB-C is also a very nice touch. I, if these were micro, oof. Turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. A few items down. I think so far it has been kind of living up to what we expected, like expectation wise. I, I do have three things in here that kind of meld together. So we're just gonna bring these all out and kind of show them. Also, I have to say these bags are nice and reusable. So if you need these resealable bags for anything, it's kind of like what you'd get from like, um, like clothing. So you might have guessed, I picked up a few different items to revamp the desk setup a little bit. First up, we have this desk mat. Very, very cute. Nice and long, but I expect it to be a little bit deeper. I guess this still works. Cute white and gray kitty cats, because we're going with a new white theme. Not bad. Quality does feel comparable to kind of like all my other mouse, mat mouse mats. Got some new keycaps as well. A nice retro set in white and gray. Now it does look pretty nice. Ta-da. The set does look pretty decent overall. I just wish that the grays matched up a little better with the rest of them, because that is throwing me off a little bit. We got a darker gray for like the space bar and the escape key and the enter. A little, a little bit, a little bit different there. Maybe they were supposed to be accents though. Not sure yet. For about 14 bucks. I don't know how much more you can really really ask for. The last little thing in here, at least keyboard wise, is we got a little artisan keycap. It's like a three in one. This looked really cute. Packaging's actually pretty decent too, you know, compared to everything else. And it's in white. Nice little foam insert there. Very, very good. They do also give like these really small little decals you can kind of put on if you're interested in that. And if you don't want to actually use it, they, they give you this nice little little wooden planky thing, which is neat. Let's see. Can I move it? Yeah, there we go. We do have a little kind of Game Boy looking thing, a old PC and a calculator. But, you know, I think out of all of them, I will most likely just use a little Game Boy. Not bad for the price, I think. It's about like $6. So last up is a actual anime figure that I found on there. Well, they have a lot on there, but this was only like $9. And I also have like another version of this. <laughs> I won't necessarily do a full comparison, but we'll just take a look at this and you'll know whether or not this is a, this is it. We got the Zoro Saunzen Sekai. 
uh, figure. They, they use the image and artwork that, you know, it traditionally would come in. The box is about three to four times smaller than the the actual box is supposed to be. And as you can kind of see, it is, uh, it is mangled and it sounds mangled. <laughs> I considered picking up a few more of these, but I <laughs> I don't know. I think you guys can tell whether or not it's it's worth it right off the bat. Now, I will say I have seen a whole lot of these sprout up on things like Facebook Marketplace and kind of like your local classified because I think a lot of people are picking these up. Also, the I think the the review section for this is amazing, but Okay, let's just uh, get into it. Oh my god, what is this? What did I get? Oh my god. The, the base is really, really glossy. <laughs> $9. This is essentially the same price as like a prize figure. And I would definitely put it in the prize figure category. Although this is based off of a, a full on like scale. <laughs> One interesting cool bit is they do give you little little hockey hockey bits, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's... Okay. Oh my god. Okay, dokie. So let's just uh flop them on here. Do the holes even line up? Wow, this this feels very, very flimsy. He is so shiny too. I mean, I guess if you've never bought a figure before, you might see this and be like, oh man, this is amazing. Look at the detail. If you're a seasoned figure collector, I, I th oh, his face, what is going on? I, I don't know, which face should we use? Should we use Zoro with a whole bunch of imperfections or should we use the bandana head? You know, I'm gonna go with the bandana head. It's, it's slightly less nightmare feely. There we go. Actually fits on there pretty decently. This is like exactly the same size, which I'm kind of impressed by. Let's see, does this fit in the mouth? Okay, you gotta, gotta give her a yo. From a distance, if you squint, it might work. I think the biggest thing that makes this not look that great is how shiny it is. So if you did want to pick this up and you wanted to maybe just spray it with matte paint, just matte clear, that, that might that might work. I can't really tell which sword is supposed to go where. I swear I'm gonna break it. <laughs> I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna wreck it. <sighs> okay, I can't I can't get the um the other sword in the back. There are no instructions, so we're just gonna wing it. I'm I'm assuming these kind of just go in. Please go in. Please go in. That kind of went in. Nope, not really. Ta-da! This this is a uh, I don't know this this isn't this is this is Zolo this is not this is Zolo. I think it's safe to say there are a few things that are probably more worth to pick up on Timu than others, but hey, pricing wise, it's it's incredibly hard to beat. So if you guys did want to go and check them out, I do have a link in the description you guys can check out, and there's also a code you can use to get a hundred dollars off. This will uh, yeah, this entire thing will run until the end of September, so you know. Check it out if you guys are interested. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. What what are, what are your thoughts on um, Zolo here? Let, let me know. Until next time, guys, I'm Derek and uh, I'll see you then.